Hi everyone, this is Megan Muehlbauer, the Agricultural Agent for Hunterdon County. As you may guess from this picture, for this episode of the Hunterdon County Farm to Fork series, I will be talking with you about cabbage. Cabbage is a member of the brassica, or the coal family of vegetables. This, this plant family is related to the mustard plant, in addition to more commonly grown crops, which include Brussels sprouts, collards, kale, and kohlrabi. You can see in this picture the similarities and the differences that define each member of the family. For example, kohlrabi has a very enlarged stem, and Brussels sprouts have enlarged lateral leaf buds, while cabbage has an enlarged terminal leaf bud. As for production of cabbage in the United States, in 2019, there were 61,100 acres of cabbage that were harvested in the United States. The top three cabbage producing states are California, New York, and Florida. In those states, there are three main types of cabbage that are grown. Green cabbage, red cabbage, and cabbage varieties specifically for processing. Now, the processing cabbages are important because 45% of cabbage grown in the United States is grown for processing for products such as sauerkraut. Now, cabbage, along with many other brassica crops, are notable because they grow best at the beginning and the end of the standard growing season. They really thrive when daytime temperatures are between 65 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And they can also tolerate some mild frost, so they can grow well into November and December. Now, cabbage itself is a ball of leaves, and we refer to it as a head. It varies in shape from round to flattened to smooth, um, depending on the variety. And the leaves are attached to the middle or the core of, this, of a modified stem. Now, in terms of fertility, water and horticultural needs, cabbage is really pretty standard. It's no different from a lot of other vegetable crops that we grow. There are a number of diseases that affect cabbage though, um, but as with many annual crops, field rotation is important for growing a healthy crop. One of the de most devastating diseases to cabbage though is club root, and that's pictured here. That's here in this picture. Now this is actually a fungal disease and it'll cause all sorts of um, bad things to your plant, yellowing, decline of the plants, as well as leaf wilting. It also causes um, a swollen, swollen club-shaped root instead of fine root networks. Now, interestingly, this fungi can actually survive seven to ten years in the soil, even if there is no host plant, meaning a cabbage plant, growing in it to thrive off of. However, the soil pH must be less than seven for it to thrive in the soil. So scientists have actually learned that one of the major control methods is to raise the pH above 7.2, and that can help control this devastating fungal disease. Now cabbage can be harvested at any um, any time after the heads are formed, which you can see on the left. For the highest yields, um, you should really cut the head off uh, once they are firm to the touch. But be sure to be sure to cut them off um, before major cracking has occurred. Um, shortly after cracking occurs, then that internal tissue will, be, tissue will begin to break down because of the elements and water getting in there, and it'll really render um, the majority of the cabbage head unusable. Now, the other interesting thing about cabbage is that even after the mature head is harvested. If you leave the stump there, that stump will actually produce little cabbages coming off of it, which you'll see in the picture on the right. Um, now, these little heads can also be harvested, and you can keep harvesting from that cabbage stump throughout the rest of the season. Now, this concludes my mini talk today on cabbage. Be sure to check back on our Facebook page later in the week to watch our family and consumer health science agent, Sandra, Sandra Grency cook a farro and cabbage salad. Also be sure to check out the Hunterdon County 579 trail to find cabbage at one of our local Hunterdon County farms. Thank you.